don't hurt your without that kind of force. We got to the F-10, and it has to deal with all kinds of significant project loads, and uh, just tremendous amount of engineering had to go into the next term of time. And then you go and you look at the satellite engines, which are the most efficient engine I think has ever been created. A space shuttle consists of a space plane called the orbiter. Three main engines located in the rear of the orbiter, an external tank that holds the propellant used by the main engines, and two solid rocket boosters. I think that, to me, just the big notion in all those cases is the main engines and the orbiters. The boosters on the tank, the stone on the tank is a structural gap that we've been playing. So the building was rocking down for six seconds and the engines fell up to speed and watching them get down to the train as the thing kicks over and comes back and hitting the boosters and it just took a long time to go. The Space Shuttle Main Engine, or SSME, is the world's most advanced rocket engine. It is fully reused and produces more power for its weight than any engine ever developed. During ascent, the SSMEs provide about 500,000 pounds of thrust each, producing as much energy as 13 Hoover dams. The majority of engine components are built by Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne at Canoga Park, California. I think the SSME is still on the forefront of uh, the uh, technology as far as uh, liquid rocket propulsion is concerned. It's a stage combustion cycle. The um, chamber pressure is 3,000 psi. The fuel pump discharge is 6,000. The lux pump almost 7,000. It's very, very high energy compacted into that machine. SSME is a very high thrust to weight ratio machine, so um, you try to get a lot of power density with not much weight. And to do that, it means the parts are very complex, which also means they're difficult to make. Assembling an engine is an art form in addition to being a, a technical uh, masterpiece. The main engines were always something that they had close attention to. The pros would come through. There was always no need to take them out to the engine shop and show them one or two units that probably would have been a lot of money to be able to do that. You know, just some excitement and fun and the choice they had to entertain them down. But they're supposed to be able to do it fine. It's really the excitement is supposed to kind of contain the financial money that they don't want. Stretching 154 feet in 